the Morphic Polyalphabetic Cipher. Um, we have our plain text message ABC ABC and our key which is three letters A, A B and C which are represented by nickels, quarters, and pennies. Um, and this is our output up here. So We look at our first letter in the message A and we see that we have a quarter and a penny which represents the A so we're going to put that up there in our output and then we're going to select at random either the quarter or the penny and swap with something else in the key. And we see that it has a quarter and a penny also, but they're in a different order. So we put that up there in, in that order. We select at random the quarter or the penny and swap that with something else. So then maybe we do this. And then go to our next letter, C, which is the quarter and the nickel. So we put that up there. And then we select at random either the quarter or the nickel and swap that with something else in the key. And so that becomes that in the key. And then we go to the next letter, A, and we see that it's a quarter and a penny. So we put that up there in that order. And then select at random the, either the penny or the quarter and swap that with something else in the key. And then we go to our next letter, B, and we see that's two pennies. So we put that up there. Select at random again. Swap them. And then do the C in which is a nickel and a penny. And then this is our output of our message, which was encrypted using the Morphic Polyalphabetic Cipher. And this is the resulting key.